so let's say I eat these walnuts, they contain ALA, which is that omega-3. My body will convert some of that into DHA and EPA, which are the long chain omega-3s people may be familiar with that are found in fatty fish, fish oil supplements, algal oil supplements, etc. And there's been great debate for a long time as to how well will my body convert that ALA into DHA and EPA. And the reason that's important is that it seems the primary role of ALA, if not the only role, is to act as a precursor to DHA and EPA. Not that ALA itself has any direct effect on our physiology. So the question there is, are you able to convert enough of the ALA into DHA and EPA? That becomes more important if I'm not consuming a direct source of DHA and EPA. 